Caesar. Say that there is another king, Yeshua. And they troubled the people and the rulers of the city when they heard these things. When they had taken security of Jason and of the other, they let them go. And the brethren immediately sent them to Paul and Silas by night unto Maria, who coming went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. Good morning. Welcome to the Pope Plantation. Please put your money in the basket. They will take it shortly. Acts. Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Men of Athens, I perceive in all things you are superstitious. For as I passed by, beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God. Oh, therefore you ignorantly worship him, declare I unto you. Yahweh that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwells not in temples made with hands. Neither is worship with man's hands, as though he needed anything, seeing he gives to all light and breath and all things. Good morning. Welcome to the Pope Plantation. Please put your money in the basket. They will take it shortly. Thank you, sir, for standing out here and listening. I know it cost them. And has made one blood all nations of men for to dwell all the face of the earth and has determined the times before appointed in the bounds of their habitation. Remember, you're serving on the jury at this point. You have the power to nullify the law. You're the most powerful committee in the land. Take this responsibility seriously because it is your responsibility as an American. Look at the laws that are being abused. Understand that no man in his lifetime could even recite the amount of laws that exist underneath this system. Now, we've got the technology, you know? We've got all the inner workings, all the intricate, you know, plays into place. And now, this enables the full control of the oppressor over the oppressed. Thank you. Welcome to the Pro Plantation. Please put your money in the basket. They will take it shortly. Yes, ma'am. Welcome to the Pro Plantation. Do you work here? Yeah. Oh, boy. Plantation. That they should seek the Lord, and happily they might feel after him and find him. No, he's not far from every one of us. For in him, in him we live, and move and have our being. As certain also our own poets have said, for we also his offspring. For as much then as we are the offspring of Yahweh, we are not to think that God has like unto gold or silver or stone raven by art and man's device. Man's device. Yes, this is a device. It is divine. It is a scheme. Jaja is my savior. He lives forever. Not intended by the master himself. Times of this ignorance, Yahweh winked at us, yet now commands all men everywhere to repent, because he has appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by man whom he has ordained. He has given the chance of the all, and that he has raised him from the dead. Yahweh, you may keep your own tradition. That which 
I've been moved over here. Continue. You know, this is a persistence and determination. This requires work. You know, Frederick Douglass said, there's no power without the man. You know, if we want crops, we have to be willing to take the rain. We have to be willing to plow the field. And this is what it is, man. They say, well, we have the right to freedom of expression, right? The First Amendment rights, so they stand by because that's the, the, the Constitution the slave masses drafted. And so, you know, that's their foundation. And uh, and then yet, you know, they go, well, nobody's out there saying anything, so nothing must be wrong. Nothing must be wrong. You know, I was listening to BBC this morning, and they had a, they had a, you know, they're doing a lot of promotion for police now, you know, after that shooting in Dallas. Which, by the way, they used a robot to kill that man. Can you think of anything less courageous than using a robot to kill somebody? That is really, really, really silly, man. Like, really. That's what we've gotten to. The, the, the home of the brave, right? Using robots. <laughs> wow. So, 
BBC, you know, they're doing their promotion of the police saying, you know, police aren't so bad. They're, they're out in the middle of some big town somewhere. And there's a cop. And uh, he's, he's saying, you know, this generation doesn't like us, but the next generation, we're bringing them up to me, you know. So there's a couple of kids walking down the street, like maybe 10, 12 years old by the sound of it. And uh, he goes, yeah, I know these kids. I, I, I've put their family in jail a few times. And they call the kids over here. And, 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 and he says, well, and this is a, a reporter from England. This kid sounds like 10, 11 years old. He says, uh, the reporter says, what do you think about the police? And the kid says, I think they're good. Uh, you know, really. Uh, really. All this propaganda. You get somebody, you beat somebody up enough time, you put them in jail up. Nobody want to do anything to fly right? Nobody want to do that because they're afraid. Well, I'm not afraid. I'm right here. I'll be here. I've been here. I'll continue to come here. It's going to take a kind of commitment, you know, that a Douglas said. It would take a struggle. It will take a struggle. It will take persistence, determination, and the left of education. We have to educate the mountains of people that are on the bottom. Let them understand the inner workings of the system, the network of oppression, and how it works, how it's coordinated. And then we can stop it. We can begin to educate people to understand, look, you're working in the middle. You're hiding the oppressor from us. You're the supervisor. You're the plantation owner. You know, the London, the, the, the merchants in London, they get rich without the plantation of the South. So, and they still got the gold somehow, some way, because the system of law has given them control. And they've consolidated their power. So it's our duty right here, right now, to set the story straight and say, look, we might lose our life, but that's all they can take. That's all they can take is our life. But we're going to give back so much more. We're going to give education that's going to live on. People are going to remember this. Yeah, we're going to win over the whole Because the oppressor has gone too far. And this system out of control is run right about. Yeah. We out here speaking the gospel, you know, because a lot of the people hide behind their churches and they go, Oh, look at all those bad people out there. Oh, they're trying to kill us. The devil worship us and this and that. And the other thing, they really don't read the gospel. Well, we come out here to read the scripture and see what it says. Anybody can point anything out to me in this book and I will read it out loud. You know, you know, they, they attempted to change the truth into a lie to serve the creature rather than the creator and were given up to their own vile affections that's what it says in Romans they were given up to their own vile affections their consciousness was lifted you know in, in Revelation it says our consciousness will be lifted from the face of the earth that's when the Holy Ghost ceases to exist within our heart All these murders, innocent lives. You know, as soon as they, they get them on camera, all of a sudden, it becomes something. You know, it becomes important. It becomes insignificant. As soon as they get them on camera. So what is that going That's going to be. And it's going to happen all along. And I know that's going to happen. But it's just a the same thing. That people are being murdered. And the police are being protected. Protected. Why would they be protected? Well, because we live in a common law system. Yes. They go by case laws. And if they come down on one officer from murdering an innocent person, guess what? They gotta come down on all of them. That's why they're trying to really protect the police right now. They never serve the you have the power to know by the law. You are the most powerful committee in the land. You have more power than the judge. If you see the laws being abused, if you see an endangering you, your family, your community, you don't have the responsibility to know you to do something about it. I can't serve on a jury. I'm trying to educate people that can. Because it's my understanding that most people aren't aware of this reality. That you have the power to nullify the law if you're serving on a jury this morning. Welcome to the Boat Plantation. You know, there are the disparities. I'm not going to negate that fact. 
There are certain disparities. But when it comes down to it, the oppressor is going to target poor people. Because poor people make an easy target. You know, they usually call please. They're afraid. They probably been to jail before a show drunk. And so they just go with the flow. You know? They realize they don't have that kind of pull. They don't have capital. They can't hire a lawyer. You know how it's been for boys, huh? Admittedly, I wasn't prepared, but I did bring a backup for a morning case of red out of battery. And, you know, we gotta make a pick. We have to cost them, because that's what they do, they serve the cash. That's what rules them. That's their god. That's their idol. They practice idolatry, paganism, new age. So, we gotta recognize that, we gotta make a cost. We gotta cost them. And the most effective way to cost the oppressor is to educate the oppressor. Educate the oppressor. And educate the oppressor. That may not be as oppressed, but don't really know what it is they're doing. They don't really know what it is they are a part of. That's what's important because you can't associate with Satan and not be his creator. You cannot associate with Lucifer and not be cast down. You cannot associate with the devil and not go into that pit. So, if you're a part, of a terrorist organization. Guess what? You're a terrorist. If you walk like a rat and talk like a rat, you know how it goes. So we have to understand it. We have the right for boys to defend ourselves. And that is not any act of terror. Whenever somebody is defending themselves, it is not an act of terror. No matter what they do, no matter what they say, no matter how they classify it, if you're defending yourself and that which is living, breathing, you are not a terrorist. However, if you are on the street and you have a gun and you shoot somebody who hasn't done anything wrong, if you don't like it, just keep walking now. Welcome to the Pope Plantation. Please put your money in the basket. They will take it shortly. You do have a right to defend yourself. If you're in the court this morning, you have a right to speak up. They're going to try to silence you, but that doesn't take away your right. Everything you say will be documented. It's important now, because if we don't say anything, they're going to keep playing the game and say, Oh, nobody's complaining. Everybody's complacent. And they're all cool. Everybody's cool with it. Look at the partners with it. Look at that no smartphone. You know, that doesn't benefit everybody. It sets people back. They have to keep a perpetual state of bondage. We come up with all that. You know how it works. We understand how the supply chain has been contained and manipulated to serve the interest of the oppressor. And your present classes. Shall cover thee with its feathers, and on thy wing thou shalt cross. And now, there's different weapons of warfare. We have a simple psychological weapon: the uniform, the badge, the gun. Do what we say or else. Do what we say or else. We'll put you in jail. What you do for what? Resisting arrest, right? When in doubt, resist arrest. How you doing this morning? This is the uh, court appointed lawyer. Remember me, sir? Yeah. I remember you. Yeah, I thought I Lawyers, they work with the system. They're part of the network of oppression. They derive benefits from it. 
No. The people, we don't know who they are. They could be drunk. They could be porn addicts. They could be cokeheads. Hey, as long as they serve the system, they're fine. That's going to come down on them. Welcome to the post plantation. Please put your money in the basket. They will take it shortly. So it is what it is, man. Persistence and determination, courage and confidence. Be out here. Continue. Come out here. Whenever. Remember last year, I was in jail at the time. You know, they wanted to be here for a joint of marijuana. A year. Because I was on probation for protesting. You know. That's okay, man. I'm not bitter about it. I'm not resentful. I'm moving on. We spread the good word. The truth. There's a Christ was crucified because he refused to give tribute to Caesar. Caesar. If you know history, you know. This institution is Caesar. Caesar's institution. I tell you, man, he need not be associated with Satan. And not be. And what about those associations? We've got associations for lawyers, for judges. What do they do? They get together. They party. They become friends. It's a network. What do you think happens? When the lawyer shows up, you think the judge might be a little biased. Bias is going to happen. Technology is not going to solve the problem. Technology is the most violent of all because it was made with man's hands. Now they're using it to kill people. You know, they got the drones. Now they got the robot. Michael Johnson, the shooter, the Dallas, killed by a robot. Yeah, they took a day to spread the rumors and shot himself. Most people probably think that. Nah. He was killed by a self-detonating robot. So, you say, well, what does this have to do with anything? Well, if the law permits the murder of people in this country, within these borders, with robots, then it will permit the murder of us all. It will. You know, whether they enforce it or not, that's another thing. They don't always enforce everything. You know, that's how the drug dealers become a statute because they don't get caught. Certain ones are wrong. Certain ones don't get caught because they're protected. And they get an information. This is old news. People should understand this by now. Unfortunately, we don't pay attention to it. But the reality of it is, if you associate yourself with protect drug dealers, you yourself on the drug deal. The police. You know, some of the white boys are maybe black, black man, something. You know, that's, that's the old business, but this happens in every county in this country. Why do you think methamphetamines became so prevalent in this county? Think it was by chance? I don't know, that's not what I heard. That's not what I heard. But don't say nothing about it. You might disappear. That's what the guy that told me about it said. Yeah. Don't say nothing because there's been people that have known to disappear. If they expose the drug dealing, the methamphetamines, by the Polk County Sheriff's Department. Well, you know, all they can do is take your body. That's what the Christ said. All they can do is take your body. Caesar that is written in the right has no reason to fear. Very much simple. Very simple. What has been hidden from the wise and truth will be revealed unto me. It's simple. Welcome to the Post Plantation. Please put your money in the basket. They will take you shortly. And remember, if you're serving on a jury this morning, you have the power and responsibility to notify the law. You see the law being abused. Endangering yourself, your family, your community, or potentially endangering yourself, your family, your community.
that you have the responsibility as an American citizen to nullify that law. Make it so it can be abused no more. There's a trillion other laws on the books. They're not going to make one. They're going to find ways for you to extract resources from poor Americans. Poor Americans. Poor Americans make a really good target. Did you know to the season and Simon said yes? And the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach scolded Simon, scolded him, and said, Simon, what will you think? What will you think? To whom serves the king, the children or the slaves? Very well then, let the children be free. We have to buy our freedom. We have to win our freedom. Freedom is going to take a struggle. It's going to take a kind of commitment, a kind of sacrifice, a kind of seriousness. Welcome to the Pope Plantation. Please put your money in the basket. They will take it shortly. Everything that this is fun, this is fun because because of power. And, and the more we practice, the better we get. But really, it brings us joy. It's not fun, pleasurable fun. It's joy. It's joy. know those that speak out against the justice, their reward will be great. We place that seed in the fertile ground, and we nurture it, and we watch it grow. And it grows so great that even the fowls of the air come and lodge underneath it. It's all called out, man. Even the judge say, look, I don't agree with the system. But I gotta get paid. You know? Could you imagine a Taliban or something, Al Qaeda member, member say, you know, I didn't really like those Al Qaeda guys, but I had to get paid too. And then they said, well, you know, maybe we should compensate the family for drowning him, because he had to get paid. Why the implications? Nobody says anything, and they continue on. You know what happens when somebody gets jumped? You know, the predator, the aggressor. They continue to beat that person, so that person learns to fight back. We have to take this with no grain of salt. We have to take this with serious, so that our life depends on it. Our survival depends on it. We have to find a will. We have to search deep within ourselves. Find that will. To deliver the message. That we as free men will not tolerate oppression. That we would rather die than to be slaves to sin. Service of corruption.
and they're already dead. Dead in their spirit. I would rather be dead in the body and alive in the spirit. Than dead in the spirit and alive in the body. I have to do 